Hey folks, Nat Nine Seven One A here again, tinkering with the Edwin Gray circuit. Uh, what I've done is I've added in this so-called uh, safety overshoot here. So I've got a spark gap from the negative of the cap going to uh, the charge receiving grid here, and that's also connected to my load. So pretty much my circuit is pretty much identical to this schematic, I've got my Thyrotron here, I've got a my cheetah's version of a commutator here. Uh, the, only bit, the only part I haven't got quite working is this load part, but I must be getting very, very close to it. The rest of it is pretty much identical to this. Um, I've got two sets of batteries, uh, 36 volts there, 36 volts there, and uh, and I've got my voltmeters connected up to this capacitor here, which uh, I've got digital and uh, analog, and they're just going off the chart. So, you know, I'll turn the circuit on, you can have a look at what's going on. It's, um, you know, this overshoot um, safety mechanism is a lot of garbage because that just fires all the time. So I think that's completing the circuit here. We've got the negative coming in from over here. We've got the positive... Um, colliding or merging or whatever that's going on here and I think that's completing the circuit so we've got negative and positive uh, so I suspect that's completing the circuit here for the low but you know I'm not very good with this sort of stuff I'm a bit of a beginner um, so I'll just keep tinkering with it um, but this cap here is just going berserk uh, the charge receiving batteries uh, I haven't been following that closely, but they appear to, uh, you know, I haven't been doing any measurements or anything like that, but they, uh, it looks promising there. So, <coughs> I, I might add in another battery onto the charge side and start doing some measurements. So, a quick recap, here's my Thyrotron. Uh, so, we've got the commutator going to the Thyrotron, which then goes to my so-called uh, low voltage spark gap. Oh, sorry, actually, no, it goes to, no, so the Thyrotron goes to my um, carbon, I'm going to call it a carbon resistor slash bus bar, which then goes to my so called low voltage anode, which, in my opinion, is really the high voltage anode, but anyway. Uh, Gray refers to it as anode number one, so I suspect that's really a uh, yeah, that's your incoming and high voltage radiant coming in there. <coughs> and then you've got your so called uh charge receiving grid. So that's so that's your primary in close proximity to your secondary. Uh and then I've got if we pretend that pretend that's coil, then the top of the coil would be at the far end as per the patent. And so then we've got our uh, dodgy wire coming off here connecting to my so-called load uh, which then I've got this black wire going over to my uh, safety overshoot spark gap here so I'm going to zoom in on anyway yeah, that's it there Oh, you can see there, that's the safety overshoot there. So I'll turn it on, you can see this safety overshoot. Uh, I'm starting to think that's a requirement. Uh, the only part I haven't got quite worked out is he's got it also connected up to the positive of this cap here, which I haven't done. I'm not sure why that's required. I might try it later. Anyway, I'll turn it on, you can uh, check it out. Okay, I just turned it on. Uh, neons are on, voltmeters uh, off the chart, right, that's set to the highest reading you can go, and they're just going bananas. You know, I'll go the Thyrotron, I don't know if it's coming up, but it, it, is it flashing? It's not hard to tell. You know, I'll say the, uh, Okay, so that's the safety overshoot. Now that's just going on all the time. So, so 
state the yacht every shoot, so I can grab. That's a cover story. False flag operation. Oh, it stopped. Okay, there's my MOT fan. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this. Safety overshoot is generating sh- massive sparks, too. Um, doesn't do them all the time, but every so often it'll just do a really loud pop. Uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, so, oh, there, there it goes. Pick up. Oh, yeah, I can see a really faint glow on the Thyrotron. Uh, it's really hard to tell. You can sort of look at the light flickering there. 300 volt. 